Well, Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, been a couple years since I did a video uh, featuring my uh, collection. And I thought since I've added so many new things and found some holy grails and made some changes that I would do another video and hopefully this time give you a much closer look at things and, you know, tell a few stories along the way about how I found these things and what they mean to me and, uh, you know, how much uh, fun it is for me. I'm starting at this case here. Uh, this features a, a lot of my dragons, which I have. Uh, found all over the world myself and others have found for me and um, I don't know what it is about dragons but I'm very drawn to them so I have quite a collection of them also in here is uh, a little bit of my Stevie Nicks collection as a lot of people know she's my uh, favorite singer and uh, uh, so I have a few things in here um, related to her like this one-of-a-kind doll that uh, uh, my awesome husband had made for me. She is one of my favorite things in my collection. Uh, she's very unique and very detailed right down to her platform boots and uh, I just love her. Um, also my genie bottles. Uh, that's a blue gin bottle and a season one bottle. That's even original grand old granddad stopper that they used in the show. Uh, first season when it was in black and white they did this bottle. Um, when Major Nelson um, grabbed the bottle off the beach to bring Jeannie home, he left the cork on the beach. So when he got home, he had to improvise, and he grabbed an old granddad stopper and put that in there. So it gives it that authentic look from season one. And then they went to color, and they did this beautiful um, purple bottle, as you can see here. And um, uh, the detail is just amazing, and it is beautiful. As you can see, there are many, many dragons, all kinds. None of them are the same, but I thought I'd give you a little look at them. And you can see all the different ones. Several shelves full. that I actually brought back from Germany, a dragon stife. So you can see the detail on them, it's just amazing. I try uh, now to just, uh, you know, they really have to speak to me for me to, uh, to, you know, buy them or um, get them, I just, uh, you know, there's only so much room, and so now they really have to be kind of really cool and talk to me. Another one of my favorites is this one my, my father gave to me. That is actually made out of resin, paper resin, and uh, it's just really, really cool. I love it. So that's a little bit of the dragons and Stevie Nicks and my genie bottles. We're going to come over here now to what I've called the Hall of Fame. This is where I display my original autographs and posters that I've managed to collect over the years. Um, you know, when you're raised on television, um, these actors and the roles they play and stuff, become you become very tied to them. And um, they just hold a special place in your heart. But meeting them really just presents a whole new layer to that. When you actually get to meet the actor and hear the stories and talk to them, that's the first autograph I ever got when I was 10 years old from Ambie Davis from the Brady Bunch. Signed script from Everybody Loves Raymond. That's one of my favorite Stevie Nicks posters. Artist rendition of Linda Carter. But I just love the vintage, vintage posters and um, I just recently, like I said, redid all this so that I could actually display more of these vintage posters along with the autographs. I got the Fonz and Mork, Charlie's Angels. Even with all the ones that I actually have displayed now, there's still many more. Um, but. You know, 
I can change them out periodically. It's a UK poster of Charlie's Angels, which is pretty rare. Johnny Depp from his 21 Jump Street days. This year, I came across this. This is a um, all the Mary Tyler Moore signatures. Now, all of these people have passed, so, you know, these signatures will never be able to be gotten again. So it is something to see them all displayed here together. Andy Dickinson. And you can see what I did was I would take, if there was a picture of me with the, the actor or something they signed, I actually put it in with the poster. There's me and Cheryl Ladd. And me and Jacqueline Smith. Penny Marshall. She was nice. She's also gone now. And David. That was a great night when I met him. He was very, very kind. Pretty cool guy. She Cindy Marshall just passed. Or not Cindy Martin, yeah. Uh, Cindy Williams just passed too. Um, very sad. Seems like so many uh, are just going. But I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of them before that happened. It's a great one of Linda Carter. And I was the only person that night to get a signature thanks to her awesome husband. And it was thanks to my awesome husband that I actually got to go to New York and meet her. And uh, it was a complete surprise. So uh, kudos to him for such an awesome gift. Bionic Woman, Lindsay Wagner. There's a rare Bell Records promo poster for the Partridge family. We got the monkeys. Davy Mooning and the monkeys, which I thought was pretty funny. Charlie's Angels when Shelly Hack joined. We got the Charmed Girls and Bo Duke. I am with the original Munsters coach. There we are with Piper and Leo. Supernatural. It's one of my favorite shows. These guys are so much fun, as you can see from this picture. <laughs> They are crazy. So yeah, like I said, I just recently redid this, you know, and uh, managed to, you know, add in a lot more of my vintage posters along with the autographs, trying to get as much uh, uh, display bang for my buck as I can get. You have to when you have a very large collection. You have to get clever about how you display it. But this has truly been a lot of fun for me. And, um, it just, you know, just even walking through here and looking at all this just takes me kind of away. You know, we live in such dark times, it seems like this world is such a mess. And it is nice to have something that just takes you away or takes you to some innocent place where you can just, uh, you know, put a lot of that stuff out of your mind for a little bit. There I am with Lindsay Wagner and Lee Majors. You got Adam West and Burt Ward. Michelle Nichols, such a classy lady she is, was. Very fun outtake photo from a photo shoot that David Soule and Paul Michael Glacier did. You know, they were such good friends and close and it just showed you how much fun they could be. I picked this up this year. This is a rare promo poster that would have hung in like NBC studio affiliate or whatever to promote their shows. And um, then they would get like torn down and thrown out. So just having, you know, very, there's probably very few that still, you know, are floating around. You know, it's an artist illustration. It's in great shape. And, uh, I just thought that was very cool. Oh, I got my talking elf and Selena Carter. Let's see some. This poster of Stevie Nicks was um, 
poster that hung on my wall when I was a teenager. I have loved Stevie Nicks for a long time and it's kind of cool to see that up there on the wall again. Great uh, poster of Fleetwood Mac. Sad we lost Christine McVie this year. Uh, but I guess life goes on. This is a rare poster from Sweden of David Cassidy that I got this year. And I just love this poster. You know, David, David's a cool guy. I enjoyed the day I met him. And, you know, he loved horses, so that was really fitting to see him on a horse. And come over here, and we've got what I believe is still the best-selling poster of all times. This is the original Farrah Fawcett poster. Uh, at the time, it was a little risque, but by today's... Uh, Standards quite uh, quite tame. Um, I'm just gonna we're gonna head in. I love this little sign. <laughs> You've now crossed over into the twilight zone. Oh, me with Starsky by the car. So we're gonna head into my little museum. I have added a lot of things, made a lot of changes. I'm going to try to give you a much better look at it this time, a little closer. You know, due to space, you're not going to can't see every single thing that's in here, but you certainly can see a lot of it. And as you can see, stills, um, TV guides, um, posters, and you know the bookmarks. All kinds of things that poster down there is a rare I found that at a flea market this year that was a, a very uh, rare find that's a three-dimensional David Cassidy um, poster found it in amongst some stuff at a, at a dealer's booth and was very excited to find that because there's just not a lot of those floating around anymore This year they put out a reproduction of the types of costumes that we would have worn when we were kids. You know, they were they were so cheesy, uh, you know, not much to them. But, um, you know, when we were kids, we had fun with them. And uh, they just redid one for Batman. You know, it's amazing um, how a lot of these shows have just endured time. And there's still things being produced for them. And Batman, um, the 1966 Batman is the perfect example. Mattel's been putting out all kinds of toys for them. And uh, McFarland and, uh, you know, just several companies. So it's nice to see that these, these things live on. I feel like I'm trying to preserve pop culture history here um, with all of this. You know, many of these things have become very obscure and very hard to find. Let me see, we got the monsters and the Adams family, the monkeys and Mash, and Linda from Bob's Burgers, and um, fairly recent X Files figures from the reboot. X Files was another one of my favorite shows. We've got Stewie. Um, one of the things I have in here is kind of a Where's Waldo thing where I have Stewie's, Cookie Monsters, Wilma Flintstones, and Muppets that are just kind of all over the room. And it's kind of like, where are they? See, there's a Cookie Monster. There's a signed share. And there's the doll that features that outfit she wore. And we got Star Trek stuff and Schitt's Creek. I also do records. I have records in my collection. Um, they're kept in another spot, but I do have a few of them in here, as you can see. I do die cast cars. Pretty much if it's related to television, um, I collect it. We've got Viewmasters. 
this way. Let's see, we've got a rare Mego Linda Carter doll up there. Those are pretty sought after. I was very happy when I added that to my collection because I probably never could do it now. Um, and probably wouldn't be able to find one in that kind of shape. They're also doing these Wonder Woman statues now, which are just phenomenal. Uh, that was done a couple years ago. There's Daryl. Oh, look. You can slap on your Charlie's Angels uh, t-shirt and head on down to the roller rink and be the envy of your friends, uh, if you feel so inclined. This is done in 1976 and has never been out of the package. If you feel like uh, dressing up and get, you can uh, throw on some monkey jewelry. If you need something to keep your money in, there's a mash wallet. There's just so many things in this collection. I mean, you've got, you know, different kinds of magazines and, you know, I have like paper dolls. Here's some Green Acres paper dolls and you know, there's so many shows that, that did that for them. There's some Susan Day ones. Um, so I collect a lot of that type of thing. I also have, um, I do a lot of puzzles related to the TV shows. There's some Bewitched paper dolls and the Munsters coloring book. Took me a while to find one of those because they are rare too. To find uncolored and that one is for Christmas this year I got <laughs> this Charlie's Angels jewels and case set so if you want to get all fancy you can throw some of these on and you know have your little tea party or whatever <laughs> little girls would do with those um, entertain your friends with your Donnie and Marie guitar just a lot of really cool stuff. We got MASH and Fonzie, Policewoman. Um, Big Bang Theory is another one of my favorite shows. Very funny. Love it. And we got Buffy. We got an original Lost in Space game. Laverne and Shirley. Oh, look at that. It just makes me sad. They're both gone now. We've got some more Linda Carter statues. Uh, if you want to take a take a bath, you can get your use your bubble man, uh, Batman bubble bath. Here's a new item. Uh, just added this this past year. Um, been looking for one of those for a while. Very hard to find it in the condition I wanted to find it, and I finally did. Uh, and of course, it has the thermos, so I was very excited to get that. And here's an example. A few years back, they, Nika did these really tall figures of Batman and Robin. And if you just look at the detail on that face, it's just amazing. Some of these figures they do are just so good. And um, even some of the ones they did back in the 70s and 80s and stuff were pretty amazing. Andre the Giant is Bigfoot. This came out uh, about the past year. Uh, kind of hard to get. Uh, I finally got one of those because, of course, it was related to the Six Million Dollar Man. I've been doing a lot of stuff for Linda Carter. Um, that action figure came out, I think, two years ago. And it's actually becoming quite collectible now. Uh, Linda Carter never seems to really lose her popularity. There's some Muppets. There's Muppets all over. You know, Once Upon a Time. Oh, and here's one of my Holy Grails. So, I have always wanted a mint bionic Bigfoot in the box. Thought that that would never happen because they're just crazy nowadays. I had a loose one, and even those command a little bit of a pretty dollar. But uh, my awesome husband uh, got me that for Christmas, and I just love it. One of my favorite pieces in the collection. Some Schitt's Creek. Again, if you've never seen that show, that is an awesome show. You should watch it. Very funny. There's the Nika Robin. Like I said, I'm really trying to give you a much closer look at all of the things that are in here now because there really is so much. It really runs the gamut of so many different um, things. Look down 
here we've got the Munsters, Barbies, and I even have Lego sets for TV shows like uh, the Friends Apartments. Here's Isis and a Star Trek Whirly Bird. Such a simple toy, it just would spin around and pick up a little weight. But back then, you know, we were entertained by it. Love Boat figures, Grizzly Adams. We've got figures from Game of Thrones. You know, the great thing about this collection is it runs the span of all the way from, you know, I Love Lucy in the 1950s and the Honeymooners right up to, you know, today. Very rare Bewitched puzzle. Actually has the poster in it. Um, took me a very long time to get that, and I finally did. Um, and, you know, complete with the poster, just almost impossible. That was one of those great finds. Now, if you're going to head off to the beach, you can bring your Bionic Woman beach towel so you can dry off. Got that a couple of weeks ago in a little shop, a little antique shop. Quite a pleasant surprise because it was just one of those things you would never expect to find in the place that I did. And it was something I had been looking for. And um, I got it and I got a really good price on it and I was very happy. Lots of vintage lunch boxes, as you can see. Um, I look at the hee haw. My dad used to have me watch hee haw and emergency with him on uh, Saturday nights. You can listen to your records on your Donnie and Marie record player or eat your dinner on your Magnum PI. Uh, Magnum PI uh, dinner, dinner tray. We've got the Waltons, and here's a lot of those Batman things I was telling you about. These are all just came out in the last, you know, couple to like eight years or so. So, oh my gosh, if you guys have never seen the Carol Burnett show, you should YouTube um, Went With The Wind. It is one of the funniest episodes uh, that they did. And even if you don't know about the Carol Burnett show, Carol Burnett's a comic genius, and you should really um, watch. And I think even today, it still holds up. There's Sally Field's sister, Patrill, waiting for Clarence for takeoff. Such a, a crazy concept for a show, kind of silly. But um, I actually watched a couple episodes of it not too long ago, and it was kind of amusing and fun. And I think sometimes you just need some mindless fantasy escape just to get away from... The craziness of this world just something you know fun and safe that just clears your mind and you know takes you to a, a different place all the six million dollar man by the woman figures there's just so much let's see there come in here Lots of great stuff in here. We have a cast sign genie bottle and the Danbury Mint Genie, which I just think is amazing. Such a good likeness of Barbara Eden. It's one of my favorite figures. The eyes are just gorgeous. In the back is her original doll from 1965, which is also mint, and her and a 1965 um, Samantha from Bewitched. We got the Supernatural Boys, and we've got the Monkees. Uh, Tommy got me those last year for Christmas. I love the Monkees. Um, you know, it's funny. They went from just being this creative TV band to, you know, really being um, quite good and, and quite a band in their own right. Austin Space Lunchbox, and we come down here. And you can see all the Lost in Space figures. And we got a full-scale replica of the Jupiter 2. You can even see the lights going on the bottom down there. Inside is a complete replica of the set. The robot's even in there in the lift. I think I can show you how this does this real quick. I love things that light up and work. And I'm going to see if I can get it to work. Uh, 
No, I guess he's not gonna turn on right now. Let me just pull him out of here. Because he does light up. Let's see. Oh, he didn't come on. Oh, there we go. So you see, he comes on. And you can... Uh, somewhere you push his... Oh. On the side. The function of an environmental control robot is to supply all data pertinent to this particular field. <laughs> So that's pretty funny. So I'll just close this up and we'll move on. Got Mrs. Beasley over here. That's the Mrs. Beasley that was a re-release. She was done by Cheryl Ladd and um, she did the voice. And then over there, you can see is an actual Mrs. Beasley that I found in Nashville. And she actually still speaks and uh, has her glasses, which is very, very rare. Let's see what else we've got. I, of course, uh, kept some masks to be reminded of the pandemic. I, you know, felt like it was a hard time for so many people and such so much loss of life. I didn't want to forget. I wanted to just have something there that would remind me, you know, of what everybody went through. I also collect coloring books. Um, I showed you one before. There's a Brady Bunch one. I do all the, the Bionic Woman one. I also do all the comics. I do TV comics. So um, things like the Wild Wild West, but I have all the TV shows in comic form. And all around the bottom of this that you can't see is like fan magazines, comic books, uh, coloring books all of that here's an example of the fan magazines the partridge family had their own fan magazine so there's like tiger beats and teen beats and this is a uk um magazine from the from the starsky and hutch that was done set in your cereal box you would have cut one of these out and this would have uh you would have heard the cast talk to you and tell you secrets about the show all kinds of Farrah Fawcett pillow. Tired, rest your head on that. And head back to school. You can take your David Cassidy notebook so you can be cool. Or even a Schitt's Creek uh, notebooks. Uh, all kinds of different notebooks. Even spiral ones um, from the 60s and 70s. The stuff that were never used. We've got uh, the bridge from... Uh, next Generation, that's never been opened. David Cassidy guitar. Here's one of my holy grails. Original 1968 Star Trek lunchbox with the thermos, which looks like it never even came off the um, store shelf. Got a Linda Carter wristwatch in there. Um, found that lunchbox in a store in Ohio. It's called the Toys of Time Forgotten. Let me tell you, I'm like a kid in a candy store in there. I go in, my wallet comes out lighter, but oh my gosh, so much fun if you collect things like I do. Some one-of-a-kind dolls, like there's a David Casty in there and a custom Linda Carter. We got Fringe and Game of Thrones. More Muppets, the Hardy Boys, there's a seal from The Walking Dead. Eric from True Blood, that was a great show. Jon Snow, we got Christy McNichol doll up there signed. In 1976, when I was just a little kid, I got this Mego bridge for Christmas and the Mego figures to go with it. And that was a great Christmas for me. I remember that um, very distinctly, even though it didn't really look like the TV show bridge. It was still a lot of fun. Golden Girls action figures. Those are crazy. Oh my gosh. Also kind of rare. Six million dollar man, bionic woman. 
We got Starsky and Hutch figures. Some of them have been signed. Did we get to meet all three of them? Picked up this Mork and Mindy about a year ago. Never been played with, still in the box. We got mugs and more bionic stuff. Lots of board games. There's a rare MASH helicopter still in the box. Uh, they did, in the early 1980s, they did a whole toy line for MASH. And it wasn't really popular at the time, but the toys have since uh, gained quite a bit in popularity. Susan Day. We got a Julie Rogers doll from uh, Charlie's Angels. Now, they never actually made Julie or um, Tiffany, but these came up online, and I don't know the story behind them, but they were pretty good. Here's the Tiffany one. So uh, I have all six of the 12-inch uh, Charlie's Angels. I got a lot of signed stuff, paper dolls, lunch boxes. Back in, I think it was 72, they did these buttons because it was an election year and it's, <laughs> they were the bunkers for like president and stuff. Like there's one over here that says bunker in 72, chaos in 73. Got the Walton's truck. I picked that up this year, brand new in the box. Here's an example of the stuff uh, McFarland's doing right now. Nobody had ever done the the bat cycle and stuff for the figures. I came out with that that year and it's pretty cool. Emergency. This was one of my holy grails, a Partridge Family bus. Mint in the box was done in 1973. These are very hard to come by. I probably could never ever get one today or even find one for that matter in that kind of condition. So I was very excited to add that to my collection. I've brought back stuff from all over the world, really. Um, in the UK, they do a lot. Of, they got a lot of licenses to produce things for our TV shows that we did not produce here. So when I went to London, I was actually able to bring back uh, some stuff that um, you know we just wasn't made here, and that was kind of cool. You know, like the Starsky and Hutch setup there and stuff trying to collect a set of these Gilligan's Island cards now, but they are very rare and kind of expensive, so it's going to be slow going, but I've started. I uh, just have to be patient. It's like uh, these Brady Bunch cards. Again, very rare and hard to get a whole set of them. I have a whole set, and it took me <laughs> several years to get those. We got a rare Bionic Woman classroom. 1999 you can see lots of board games if there was a show in the 60s and 70s and 80s it most likely had a board game crazy stuff like uh, these are getting very hard to find these carnival mirrors um, and they uh, I was very fortunate to get to get this Starsky and Hutch one this year it's really the only one I have they're they're pretty rare and uh, um, some of them can be very expensive. Like you can put your pencils and pens in your, your MASH uh, uh, school supply holder. Oh. If you don't want to walk around with wet hair, you can use your Charlie's Angels blow dryer after you've shampooed with your Farrah Fawcett shampoo so that your hair will stay nice and manageable. I do ornaments. Let's see, that's a few ornaments. I had these Star Trek walkie talkies when I was a kid. Finally was able to get a set of those um, about a year ago and last year. Um, they were a lot of fun when I was a kid. More Muppets. Um, we've got, I've got a whole slew of British annuals for our TV shows, which are pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take one out right now, but you can see um, there's, they did them for all kinds of shows and they were just fun. They had all kinds, they have pictures and stories and comic strips and 
uh, little puzzles and things you can do. There's Florence from the Jeffersons, Marla Gibb doll. You need to get away. You can hide out in your Charlie's Angels hideaway house. That thing stands about two feet tall when you put it together. It's crazy. And we've got color forms from all the different shows. Some Sign Space 1999 figures. More Muppets and Chips. More Viewmasters. Love this clock with the first four angels. My friend Rob gave me that. Big thing that I added this year that I just love. And I did do a little video on this not too long ago, so I won't spend too much time on it, but I'll just show you was this exact replica of the bridge. This is a light, complete, you know, set, uh, accurate depiction of the Enterprise Bridge that is scaled to the, oops, let me get hands out of the way, scaled to the Playmates figures, and I just uh, love this thing. It is so cool um, and then I just built a little display around it and just able to put you know stuff there so it's pretty cool the elevator door is open you can change out the, the view screen there's a little uh, you can see them here you can slide in different uh, things model the monsters house we have buffy figures and the uh, the rare, um, very uh, actually sought after or, um, Buffy playset, a uh, vamp um, library playset. Those are not in abundance and very hard to get a hold of now. The love boat up there, Donnie Marie. And we got the nanny, the mash military base. You put that together, it takes up like half a room. It's huge. Stranger Things figures, the Honeymooners. I do a lot of card sets, as you can see. I've got, you know, full sets. Most most of my sets at this point are complete, um, and some of them are, are pretty rare. I got a set of Starsky and Hutch. Those are actually from the UK. Um, well, actually, those are not from the UK. They're from Belgium. Um, Monty Gum cards. So. Oh, we've got Golden Girls figures. Big Bang Theory. I do Pops. Um, if they're kind of related to a show I really liked. Um, lots of carded Charlie's Angels stuff. There's a Charlie's Angels purse. You can put all your makeup and your brushes and stuff in there. Um, there's the Rookies. Original Davy Jones costume from the 1960s. An original Julia doll that's never been opened. More Stranger Things. You can see there's lots of puzzles. There's the rare Bionic Woman carriage house. That also stands about two feet tall when you put it together. It's amazing. An unopened uh, Bionic Woman movie viewer. Rookie's Target sets, Harry and the Hendersons, we've got more Osmond stuff. That Marie Osmond doll is about two feet tall. Mini posters. There's an original Monkeys puzzle. An original Chips model from... I think that was from like 1980. That was not ever used, put together. Some crazy obscure things. This magazine here, this was done only in Hawaii. When Charlie's Angels filmed in Hawaii, they did a, a promotional thing where they had this magazine for sale there. And uh, it's pretty cool. Also quite rare. But as you can see, it really runs the gamut of so many different types of stuff. If it 
catches my eye and it's something I thought was cool or if it was one of my favorite shows, then, you know, I will usually pick it up. That Enterprise up there, my friend Rob got that for me. I'm just going to show you a little bit about it. It's actually a tree topper. Uh, him and his boyfriend uh, got that for me for Christmas. And it is amazing. When you hit the thing, it puts on a light show for you. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, and new civilizations to boldly go where no man has gone before and then it puts on a little light show and it actually shows up on the ceiling as you can see it's pretty cool um i got monkeys finger puppets there's arrow so i just i really wanted to give you a much better better look this time around and everything that's in here um because there's so much central park sign um friends is one of my all-time favorite shows just love it uh, i'm just taking another little uh slow glance around to make sure i didn't forget anything really cool to show you um but i'm sure you can see as we go along you can see a lot of it um you know there's some like i said due to space you can't see everything completely, but you get a really good idea. Um, there's even stuff like I have a Farrah Fawcett carpet rolled up there from 1976. Um, they're even still doing new stuff for Space 1999. That's a new figure that was released last year. Um, you know, a lot of these shows become like cult favorites, and so uh, stuff still gets made um, for them. Alias. Got a Partridge Family bulletin board up there. That thing is actually pretty big. You can see all the different pops that are up there Golden Girls, Munsters. Just added this um, Golden Girls lunch box. That is compliments of my cousin. Uh, she gave me an eBay gift card for Christmas, and that is what I ended up buying with it. Um, I do that a lot of times. Uh, when somebody does that, gives me a gift card or something, I will usually pick up something from my collection and let them know that, you know, they that that was because of them. I feel like they're adding to the collection and being a part of it. This is Man Dollar Man trash can. Many more posters. So I think I have covered it all. And really, I hope giving you a much closer look at what's in here. Um, you know, I really just love coming in this room, and I love seeing the look on people's faces when they come in here. Um, it really is just, this is where I escape when I want to, um, you know, just leave the world outside and kind of try to put all the, the bad that's out there um, out of my head and just escape to a place that's a little safer and a little more innocent and that's what this does for me like i said when you know you were raised on television it's just you have a connection uh to a lot of this and um maybe that's why i do it i don't know um but it's been a lot of fun for me over the years to go and hunt for these things and um so i keep doing it and uh we'll probably keep doing it for a little as long as I can. Um, it's gotten to a point where it's pretty much where I want it to be. So, um, you know, I don't have a, tons and tons of things, but I'm always finding little things to add. And there's still a few holy grails that I am looking for. And, uh, you know, hope to eventually find 
I love these these statues are just so well done. This is Yvonne Craig. What a gorgeous job they did on her, Batgirl. Seven and Nine, another one of my favorite TV characters from Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. Just really good. They really, you know, some of the stuff is just done so well. So I think uh, this is going to conclude our little trip down uh, memory lane here. I hope this uh, brought up some fond memories uh, of your own uh, for TV shows that you might have watched or time with family or whatever. I hope that um, everybody's going to have a great 2023 I hope it's going to be full of lots of light and laughter and health and good things. And um, I hope that you too can find things that help make your world a little brighter or help to escape a little and stuff. We all need that. Um, the world can be very heavy at times and everybody needs something that can kind of take them away from that. So um, I wish that for all of you guys along with love and peace. So take care until the next time. Peace.